Now with our first plugin installed, we want to be able to customize it. So now we need to find out where the plugin is so that we can customize it. On the left hand navigation bar, depending on the plugin you've installed, there are a couple of places where it will appear. You'll notice that Pricing Tables has created its own menu on the left hand navigation bar. If you do not see your plugin there, you'll want to look under the Appearance menu, and it may be included here, just like your theme might be as well. Or you can look under Settings, and oftentimes it will include the settings here. So those are the three places that you'll look to find your plugin. Here for Pricing Tables, I can click in to my Pricing Tables. Since there is not a table yet, I have to add one in. So I can click Add New. Let's say I'm going to add my gold web design package. I can add that in here. Now you'll see I can add in my title, subtitle, description, price. If it's going to be recurring, I can add in the images. I can mark this one as the recommended plan. Do you remember how when we were looking at the chart here, one of these kind of pops out, it sticks up as the recommended plan? That's how I'll do that. I can add in the features list. It tells me how I can add in images, links, bold text. It gives me the code if I want to do that here. And the button if I want to say purchase now or learn more or get a free quote or whatever I want along with the link to where that person should be sent. You can also select the color. I can fill in those details. That way, let's say I can add in three packages for my customers to choose from. And then when I'm done, I can click Publish. Now I've gone ahead and filled out the details for three pricing tables. Now on the right hand side, it says Display My Pricing Table and it gives me instructions. It says that I need to copy a short code and place that on the post or the page where I would like these to appear. It says you can find the short code by clicking on the Pricing Tables tab in the menu on the left. So first I want to publish these and I want to return to pricing tables and now you'll see I have a short code. So all I need to do is copy this particular short code and I'm going to return to my services page. Now I have some dummy text here but I'll just enter a new line, paste in my code, click update. Now I'll return to my website. I'm going to go to my services page. Now there you have it. I have my pricing table. You'll see I have my one that's recommended that sticks up. So I'm going to want to reorder these. It looks like I'm going to need to change some of the, the coloring here. But I have my basic table. So now I can go back and make any changes that I see fit. But as you can see, it was very easy to do, very easy to install, to customize without any coding, and quickly add it to my website.